Quantum Stocks just had a super impressive week. In particular, I am watching IonQ, Rigetti, and D-Wave, and if you are watching these stocks also, I'm sure that you're already aware of this. Before we dive into the details, if you have not joined the trading discord yet, go do it after this video. The link is in my bio, it's free to join. There's over 25,000 traders in there where we all help each other win in the market every single day. Here's the quick rundown. IonQ popped on back-to-back -back catalysts. They've got acquisitions in Trapped Ion Tech, a binding deal to buy Vector Atomic in participation in a new Department of Energy Quantum and Space Initiative. That's going to be focused on securing communications and sensing. And then Needham stepped in, reiterating a buy rating and a price target of $80 for IonQ. Rigetti jumped after landing a $5.8 million Air Force Research Lab contract to advance superconducting quantum networking. This is not just revenue, this is starting to become validation for their technology roadmap. And then D-Wave, the quantum enabling player, they surged on new bookings momentum in Asia and real-world quantum AI use cases from drug discovery to telecom optimization. When bookings and case studies start to accelerate for a company, that starts to get institutional attention. So how do you play this if you don't like buying the single name quantum stocks? Some investors like to look at ETFs with quantum exposure. QTUM is one of the closest to a quantum centric basket owning names across the quantum machine learning and cloud space. AIQ grabs the AI high compute overlap that increasingly touches quantum. ROBT is a broader basket that has robotics and automation but includes firms investing in advanced R&D that can spill into quantum. These aren't pure plays, they're ETFs, but they're gonna spread your risk while keeping you in the theme of quantum. The bigger picture is that government orders, strategic acquisitions, and analyst support are giving quantum legitimacy. I've been bullish on quantum for a long time now. This is, looks like it's a turning point for a niche corner of tech into mainstream. If that momentum continues, we can expect more ETFs to launch to meet the investor demand. Quantum is early and adoption for this technology is going to be lumpy and drawdowns on these stocks can be brutal. Size your positions accordingly, know your time horizon, and don't chase green candles without a plan. If this helped, tap like and follow for more quantum breakdowns and be sure to share this video. This is not financial advice, always do your own research before investing.